So guys, on the back of this Kurt Zuma incident, ex-Liverpool goalkeeper Chris Kirkland has issued an update on his Twitter after comments he made on a BBC breakfast show over Kurt Zuma being filmed kicked and punching a cat at his own. The former Wigan, Preston and Liverpool stopper suggested that Zuma's actions were worse than racism while berating the decision from West Ham to play the French defender on Tuesday night. So speak to the BBC, Kirkland said, everywhere they go now and everywhere he goes, he's going to be targeted and rightly so as well because he deserves everything he's going to get. I'm a big advocate, I'm a big advocate for mental health and obviously need to be careful with what I say because it's bound to test Kurt Zuma but he's bought it all on himself by a sickening video. I'm still in disbelief that West Ham played him last night. I thought that was disgraceful but again the FA for me. If it was a racism case, the FA have acted, stepped in and banned players for 6-10 to 10 games, fighting 6-10 to 10 games. This is worse if anything. What is the difference? Kirkland went on to question the lack of interference from the FA asking, why have the FA not stepped in to ban him for this? It's beyond belief. So his comments have also sparked a backlash from different corners of social media and in turn prompted Kirkland to release a video of his own explaining his remarks. So check this video out. Hi, just a quick video. I know a lot of people um, seem to be offended. And uh, listen, I totally understand with what I said this morning about uh, obviously the Kurt Zuma situation. Um, obviously, I mentioned racism about if players have been banned before. I know it said that I said it's possibly worse than that. But what I meant was animals can't defend themselves. They've not got a voice. Uh, obviously, as humans have, but listen, racism goes without saying it's an absolute disgrace. Um, anyone who does that should be locked up. People know how I feel about that. I don't have to, to say that. Um, but yeah, it was just in, in the context that animals can't defend themselves and they've not got a voice. So I meant it in that way, not obviously the other way. So I hope that clears it up and uh, yeah, take care, everybody. As I said in the previous video, Zuma, he featured for the Hammers during their 1 0 victory over Watford last night just hours after the footage had been leaked online. West Ham boss David Moyes stood by his decision to pick the Frenchman despite the controversy. The Scot was asked if the video had any influence in his decision to select Zuma, but Moyes insisted no because he's one of our better players. But it is certainly ongoing and the club are dealing with it, so that is a separate matter. So guys, what do you think with regards to this situation? It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.